And what is Rastafari? Rastafari is the eradication of evil and the replacing it with good. Just as it was in the beginning, so shall it be in the end. When Jah Rastafari created the heavens and the earth, established on the face of the earth was the concept of good. Evil did not prevail. Now, Rastafari is that African liberty as it was in the beginning. Because when Jah Rastafari, the creator, put forth man on the face of this earth, the African man was the man that was put forth. First. Out of the African man came all other races. Um, man was also trodden with closeness to Jah in terms of his mentality was strictly of good can and we, evil did not prevail. Can we just like, take one of those topics first? There's quite a lot there to cover. Um, what is liberty? Liberty is the way of life. When you say liberty is the way of life, what is the way of life? Well, or I can't speak for any and anyone. I can only speak for I and I as Africans. I, liberty as Rastafari, is promoting the way of life which has been established by the order of our oh, Rastafari had created thing for I, the Africans, to trod, hopefully, in the sight as he had ordained it. So therefore, like, living liberty is a way of life. So what does that in incur? What is it? Liberty? To strive for perfection. Because I and I was created in the image and likeness of Jah Rastafari. That was perfection. Everything that they I behold with Jah created is perfect. There's nothing wrong with what Jah created, you see. So if you may observe how oh, ones and ones are living in this day and age, you may notice that they have removed from the creation as to a greater extent, you see. So trodden yes, upright you... is to move forward in that direction as it was in the beginning. So shall it be. Can you tell us who is Jah? Jah what is Jah? is the Ed creator, the creator of the universe. Jah Rastafari is God himself has come forth from the dawn of creation, right? And has trod with I and I even until now. I and I see his imperial majesty as the living I, God, Jah, Rastafari, in the physical concept of I and I, man. That's Haile Selassie, yes? Oh. I thought Haile Selassie was dead. I well, in 1975, the Babylonian forces spread propaganda say His Imperial Majesty, Emperor Haile Selassie I was killed in a coup. Up to this day, there is no such thing as a body that can be shown unto I and I. Well, Up to this there day, there's no such thing as a, a funeral or anything. Now, if this was a coup, right, with those degree of propaganda which the Babylon forces then was trying to spread, right, they would have used that to try and finalized for them points, you Sorry, see. Can I, can so that gap right. is left open. His Imperial Majesty has made a mystical exile can from the face of the earth, which these forces, right. evil can forces, go, okay. do not know about. Can we go, it wasn't a Rasta, was he? He was a Christian. He said he was a Christian. No, we we're talking about Christianity now. You must penetrate the concept of Christianity being the first religious but he was concept like on the dawn of creation. I and I, the Ethiopian, were the first people to acknowledge and give thanks and praise to a living God, a but creator. He, but he no, denied no, that I, he's a living no, God. No, I, as Rastafari, as Ethiopians, right? That acknowledgement of a living creator was the original concept of but Christianity. The name Christianity has been distorted and has been taken out of Africa, taken to the shores of Europe, distorted, tinkered and tailored to suit every set of people them impose it on you see right and then it is come back into africa claiming that that is the original christianity when, when that doesn't exist i rastafari the concept of righteousness prevail that is the true concept of christianity when, when you say where do we find the good in the world and where do we find the bad it's the bad in babylon and the good in africa well, when I and I, make, I and I make mention of Babylon, I and I right now is in Babylonian territories. Anywhere outside Africa is Babylon, you see. I and I is not saying, therefore, that um, Babylonian mentalities do not prevail in can Africa. I, can I right? ask you? I and I is talking about Babylon, the land, the Babylonian, the people. In Africa, you have, Africa is Africa. 
you see. Everything but you have Africa people with Babylon. Babylonian mentality. What, what do you classify as Babylon then? I mean, for me, I, I don't know. What do you classify as Any Babylon? Any forces representative of evil is what Babylon. Is what is evil for evil? you? You tell me what is evil. No, the question. I represent the concept of good. And I represent the Rasta. eradication of evil. I represent the concept of Rastafari. So Rastafari is good. So where does everybody else stand? Where does everyone else stand? Well, all Jah Rastafari has established things, right? Um, he created different races of people, right? You may observe, as I said initially, that um, when Jah Rastafari created man, he created him in his image and his likeness. That is the black man. Today you observe various manifestations so of man, right? That symbolized man as removed from the original creation, you so see. Man has also removed himself, not only physically, within the duration of time, but also mentally. So, so can, I, can I become a Rasta? Which question is being asked? So can I become a Rasta? Within each race of people, there are ways in which they can observe the Creator. The Creator has revealed Himself unto each people in different ways, right? I, as an African, African represent the original concept of the creation. I can associate with Jarastafari in its fullness. But and next race of people can associate with Jarastafari in its fullness, but to the level to which Jah say them can deal with so them. So what about me? Say I want you to become a Rasta. Can I? Rastafari is a way of life for I, the African. I observe the I as an Asian. I don't know if I'm correct in that observation. But even within what I and I observe of the eye, there is a way in which the eye can come up to Jarastafari, observing how Jarastafari revealed himself unto the eye as an Asian person and unto the Asian people. Yes, it is not necessarily calling that name Jarastafari, acknowledging a different name, you see. But that is the level to which the eye as a people can come, right? Rastafari promotes the upliftment of one's own culture to be oneself to promote okay. one liberty okay. so if an Asian person for example was to trad Rastafari he would be violating the very things which what Rastafari says Africans? which says be what yourself about the Asian so Africans? can I ask you about the Asian Africans yeah. And so I know Africans. not such things as they Asian don't. African for the same reason I know not such thing as black British and okay. black Chinese or otherwise okay. Okay. Are you I'm I could ask black a Africans are you Am I accepted? Yeah. And whose criteria are we going by? No, I'm, I'm just asking. What is an African? You well, I'd us. say that you the... Mm. Right. One who can trace his ancestral origin to the motherland. African means more than just that geographical. That is the land where man came forth, you know. That land is so sacred. That is the land that gave birth to mankind. Right. So can you imagine the uh, ritual, the spiritual aspect of a land that gave birth? birth to mankind our that is what an african rastafari is rastafari the most pure the, mo the purest african rastafari is an african liberty is it the purest? trodden trodden the eradication of evil and the um fulfillment of are, goodness are right the rastafari african? is the ice liberty right the truest to which african. a one can observe the concept of the creator. No, the there are ones and ones who are trodden that ice liberty, which means trodden as natural, right? As the original concept, right? There are ones and ones even within the land of Africa who be, may not bear the name Rastafari as the as um the I know them, right? But when you analyze that liberty, you see that it is Rastafari different levels of Rastafarian? No, I. There is no different level of Rastafari. There's only one truth. Rastafari, 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 Rastafari is a oneness. Rastafari is what, one. Well, so what level. are white Rastas yes. then? Right. What are white There is Rastas? no such thing as white Rastas. For the same reason, there's no such thing as a spotless leopard or a white Ethiopian I, or a white Maasai. Can I ask Right, can you tell us about, you said it's important about what you eat for your liberty. Can you tell us, well, exactly what it is you eat or what your diet would be? Rastafari is the preservation of oneself 
in its natural and its most spiritual form. Thereby, certain things cannot enter the body that will actually defy the structure, that will actually um, be sacrilegious to the body which is a temple of the Most High. I and I therefore full take in food which are idol, right? What does this mean? Idol by idol, I mean food that are vital for I and I um, way of life for I and I to keep I and I structure up full, healthy, and in accordance with the order of our job as established things. By that I mean I and I's. I Rastafari, liberty is a trad of abstention from animal products, animal meats, abstention from alcohol, abstention from cigarette, abstention from wines, abstention from cigarettes? dairy products, abstention but, from it, all other piracy or exploitation in whatever form of animal does, and their... But the Rastafarian take ganja, well what's that? I mean... Is that Fishes not are the glories of the sea. Sorry, sorry, right? sorry. I do not full take it, in the. I do not full take right in the eradication of the fish because they they are also life. Alcohol. Form. Life so, must be respected. What, you say? what was that? Of, of ganja, the taking of ganja, which is part of which I think what I have read is part of your religion. Is that true? First and foremost, I and I say. Ganja, right? It's not all dread take ganja. You don't, you, to be Rastafari, you must take ganja, right? Ganja is a sacred herb. Ja has established on the face of this earth, earth, herb bearing seed, right? And all those must be utilized for the, the use of man. Now, Babylonian laws try to outlaw ganja for, the, for, for, for um, reasons knowing that they can't exploit it. For reasons, knowing that that is spiritual food for I and I and for those who choose to full take in it, right? Yeah. How can man say, right, that what God has established to grow on the face of this earth is what illegal? Well, when you take, opium, when you take the, right? opium is a chemically processed thing. What about raw, ganja raw is raw not, opiates, ganja raw is opium not opium raw, poppy. Right? There are many, opium there poppy. are many products on the face of this earth, right? that if used incorrectly, it is detrimental, destructive to the system, why? to the body. But why body. Is Ganja has mind. not proven, has never mind. been proven, has never up to this date been proven to be detrimental to the structure. Well, and as a matter of Can I ask you, you know, where, what, which country you were born in? That is irrelevant. Why is it irrelevant? Right? Because irrespective of the country that I and I was born in, right? I and I are sons and daughters of Africa. You are an African daughter, whether you know it or not, whether you choose to accept it or not. Okay. Do you want to live there? Do you want to go back to live in Africa? Repatriation is essential. Repatriation is a must because until sons and daughters of Africa forward to Africa, right? Black people all over the world shall always be abused, right abused, abused, abused and abused. It is important. When you get to Africa, right? what will you do? Remember, you must first remember, right? I and I were kidnapped from Africa yeah. and taken into subhuman bondage to yeah. build up this system, right? Yeah. Even so, once we build up the system, they did not say, all right, get out of here and go back to Africa. They did not say that. No. The okay. reason why is that, right? Yeah. Because we are still needed here, right? Never to keep this system running, to keep yeah. suppressing us, to keep exploiting yeah. okay. our okay. The richest okay. continent okay. on the face but, of the earth. But I, look, I watch You'll the see. news. I see right. Ethiopia. In Ethiopia, there's a war, there's a famine, and there's a plague of locusts. If you go and live back in Ethiopia, you, there's going to be a lot of problems. And you're going to need the, 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 the technology and the science of the 20th century of Babylon if you're going to survive. So how are you going in to fact, get around is that, that? Is that how you see, that's how you see problems solved, right? Let me tell no, you first and foremost. Problem. Let me tell you first and foremost, them. right? You getting your information from what you watch on the news. Yeah, that's you getting information what they're feeding you. And yeah. when they, you're in control of the media, you feed what you want to feed out there. Secondly, to even answer your Why question, I and I contribution, I and I contribution as sons and daughters of African 
first and foremost is that we who still chant Africa today after being out here for 500 can years I, when shows that the African spirit has can not I, been suffocated, has not been suppressed and will not. Now it's for those conscious ones to go forward to Africa and make their contribution by the lessons that I and I have learned, right? We do not see the implementation of uh, modern technology. After no, all, right. Babylon has got right. all the modern technology and it's got so, more problems than locusts and than stars. So in what way children. will you make your and contribution? Then, uh, and then than what you may mention. Well, it's it's that you're a minority and that there are a lot of black people out there looking today who do not have any, well, do not want to go back to Africa. There's blacks in America, blacks in South America, there's blacks all over the world who do not want to go back to Africa. How would, what do you think First about this? First and foremost, people? when you say Aina is in a minority, I'm not playing about with numbers games, you know what I'm saying? Jack right. forces are always in a minority. It's not who have the most number win, right? Yeah. To answer that question more directly now, right, I and I is fully aware that there are people who have no intention of going to Africa, who whether in America or otherwise, who have no intention. I and I is also fully aware that Babylon is going to burn. Babylon must fall. And every day as you open your eyes and look, you say, Babylon and falling. You, you see the first blocks them starting to what crumble is, and fall. Who is, want to burn in Babylon? Let them burn. But Ja, Rastafari has revealed himself unto all Africans, what? right? And they know of him. And it's for those who choose to tread righteously to follow and to pursue that what? reality. What and those who want to deal with fantasy and deal with what the coziness and cuddliness of how Western society has sold and packaged what, what themselves. Is Western society what is going to happen you're to you about? when Babylon burns? What's going to happen to you? What is going to happen to I when Babylon burns? Yeah. Right? Righteousness lives forever, right? So you're going to live forever. Death is for destructive, for wicked. And people see, who right? consider themselves... Righteousness lives forever. How do I want to interpret it? That is up to the eye. How can I stop myself from being burnt in Babylon as a white person? You as a white man, Jarastafari has even revealed a way for you in, unto which you can give thanks and praise and acknowledge um, the order about things has been established, you see. Your liberty is not a liberty of Rastafari, but within your liberty, there is a way in which you can give thanks and praise and that tread way? upright. That is for you to find. That is not for me to find. When I know where I'm going, when right? you, when and I pursue my, my realities. When, you go, when, when the Rastafari go back to Ethiopia, what stance will the women have in that? First I mean, and what, foremost, what, what, Rastafari what? don't deal with no backward business. We don't go back to we'll Ethiopia go forward otherwise. Into Ethiopia. Where right. will the woman stand in that? Where does she stand? Oh, you mean where does the woman I stand? Mean, if Rastafari is not a male-oriented nothing. You know, That's what Rastafari I want to know. is a oneness, a family unit. Rastafari is not something whereby it's just man alone, you know, say, how oh, can a family exist on man alone? Well, what kind of it. question is that? Is that it. I incorporating some of um, this Babylonian um, feminism thing in that make the eyes asking well, such a question as to, me. As to me. where does the where woman, the woman stand? stands in the Rastafari religion? King, King, King Rastafari, right, on the 2nd of November, 1930, the coronation of King Rastafari, where he was crowned um, Emperor of Ethiopia. I elect of this world and earth's rightful ruler and 72 nations bow down and yeah. acknowledge that, uh -huh. right? That coronation was also a marriage, right? Because that was a marriage with him and Queen Omega, you see, right? That is one example. It's a marriage. Is imperial, is imperial, is imperial Majesty Trod, right? Is an example for I and I as Rastafari. That significant move shows her, yes, this is a balancing up, right? We don't deal with no unbalanced thing whereby it's just yes, a man you alone, you know, marriage. where it's just a man right? alone, you know, see, right? Rastafari so does that answer that marriage. initial question, right, about no. female? Now dealing with marriage, now dealing with marriage. We, you say Rastafari, I don't deal with marriage, I, uh, right? That, this, that's what I, I and I, as Africans, right, has been kidnapped and taken outside in Babylon, first and foremost, right? The systems of marriages which I and I have in Africa, right? Seen? We don't even know which part of Africa we come forward from. So, so, so um, we don't know which system we, we, we even deal with, right? That is not to say... That is not to say that Rastafari don't deal with marriage. Whether we go down 
with our and our queen and bow before Jah and pray to Jah and make Jah seal up that union. That is marriage. Or whether we take on an African traditional ceremony, that is marriage. But what I'm saying to you, marriage is a vow between the Almighty Eye, whether it is done directly with Jah and the presence of your wife, or whether it is done through a priest. Tell me, do you have any of those um, O levels and A levels and MAs in R? Did you study? No, no, not at all. So when um, you I drew a little when I was at school. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Me too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but then I hadn't done anything for a long while, and about five years ago I started up again. You know. What made you start up again? Was it? Um, just seeing the things happening around us. You know, um, felt concerned about that so I decided to put something down on paper you know mm -hmm. yeah now I've had a look at all the wonderful works in this wonderful flat of yours and I've nodded it down to these three let's start with this one the dread and the lion I gotta say that dread looks like me but I always say that um, tell me about it well this is um, coming out of the darkness into the light you know which we all must do Sooner or later. It's kind of someone seeing the light of the world, getting knowledge. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, knowledge of so many things. You know, they say, um, sometimes they say, uh, dogs look like their owners. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> these, yeah, these two people <laughs> very much like the lion and the... Uh, yeah. The okay. And... Uh, this one over here, I must admit, I have it at home on a postcard. It was printed as a postcard, right? Um, no, that was to advertise an um, exhibition right. at the Commonwealth Institute, yeah. The face of the child was taken from uh, South Africa, you know? A picture of two children in South Africa whose mother had been killed, so one was crying and one was very stern, you know? Mm -hmm. That was just right to use for what I was trying to say right now. Concerning the earth, this depicts the earth. The rocket going through the earth and see the hole there. Mm -hmm. Show the crack in the ozone layer, you know? There really is a lot of detail on here. I mean... Yeah, I like detail. Mm. Yeah, I like detail. And, I mean, what generally... What do I mean, most, a lot of artists have, you know, that message they want to put over to people. What is yeah. your message if there is one? Be good to what was given to us. This earth, this universe was given to all of us to share right now. And unless we do that and do that right, you know, then we're all going down, basically. Right, said the man with the money. Are these for sale? <laughs> well, really, I don't like to part with them, you know? No, to tell you the truth. You don't want to sell them? I don't like to part with them. Not even my big BBC money? <laughs> well, I've been offered um, a couple of grand for that one, you know. Um, I haven't quite got that. <laughs> this one, this belongs to my daughter, so I couldn't sell that even if I wanted to. Um, but this one, you know. But this one I may be able yeah. to afford. Uh, Just about. Okay. I got 500 quid. How much is it? 500. Oh, it just happens to be 500. <laughs> it just happened to be. <laughs> because it's the type of artist I need. It to... <laughs> just happened to be, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to go back to my BBC office and think about it. Okay. An issue, yeah? As a Rasta. What are your feelings towards Steve Biko, who actually fought for a black South Africa and also his views on Africa was that Africa should be a black man's land. His views were similar of that to a Rasta, even though Steve Biko was not a Rasta. Yeah, there are many African, African heroes who have shed their blood in the liberation of INI African soils, you see. In this dispensation, in this time, many of those spirits have come forward in the physical manifestation as we know them today. I, Rastafari, you see. Mm -hmm. 
There's a word that's, you, uh, that's in the Rastafari vocabulary, which is Nyambingi. What is that? Nyambingi is the undiluted concept of the liberty of Rastafari. The utterance Nyambingi chants death to whites, down pressers, and their black counterparts. I thought you were against violence. You say death. Does that mean you're going to kill them? Right now, in the order of our Ainai liberty is, right? Ainai must know for balance certain things in, in, in the eradication of evil, right? Yeah. It would be stupid of Ainai if Ainai to say Ainai is going to turn the other cheek if Ainai is being abused because his imperial majesty himself picked up arms and fought against Mussolini and the Italian invasion. Right? There is times, right, when I and I must know. You see, wisdom, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is the trinity. That is essential, right? If you have wisdom, right, knowledge, and understanding, it would be What's rather stupid. What is it understanding? Would, you would class it as understanding. Understanding. Right? We don't deal with Han. Okay. You see, right? It would be rather stupid if somebody box you, right, and joke in your eyes. You know, the time you turn around and say, uh, I think you like, say, right, you I hear you say, though, earlier, right. that you are, you are a man of peace. That's the far right. And I hear you talking about war, I hear you talking about violence, an awful lot. And I don't get the feeling of peace from you. You're shouting a lot. Yes? Right. I am a I'm lion. Trying, First and foremost, I represent a lion of Rastafari. Yeah. See? A lion is not a pussycat. Right? No. Even the manner in which the item is trodden right now, see? If I and I was a pussycat, I'd go down, right? You say I and I shouting, yeah. simply because you can't intimidate me in certain manner. I, I'm not trying right? to intimidate that you. Is, is that it, is the lion. Is certain what does the lion actually understand? signify? Because in, in, in a lot of Rasta Ivory's books, mm. dress wear, you always see the, the lion. What does it actually signify? Well, in Africa, there are various totems, you see. The lion is representative of Ethiopian, see? The lion of Judah, that is Jarastafari. His imperial majesty is representative of the lion, is symbolic of the lion. Now, lion, the lion has been a beast that has been, not a beast, has been an animal that has been respected for its supreme strength and force, right? And as a result of that, it has been used to represent I, Rastafari, okay. I, well, strength well, of beauty. Well, well, Even you... before I seal up this reasoning, right? Mm -hmm. Now, many people around the world, right, has looked and admired the lion, you see. And England, has even pirated the lion to represent themselves. England has no lion, but yet still when you look on all its official things, you see them using a lion to represent them. That is the same old piracy and jealousy which I made mention of even in the beginning, an you see. They steal our back. strength, an you see, to represent us. Why is that right for you just... and wrong for Britain to use the lion as a representation? Because England does not have lions. The only lions England have are those that they have kidnapped and put behind cages.